This weapon from China is terrifying the U.S. The latest test by China of an advanced hypersonic fractional orbital bombardment system, or FOBs, has sent shockwaves through the U.S. intelligence community. It has not only caught them off guard, but it also revealed a terrifying truth. The military technological gap between major global powers is much narrower than the Pentagon had long assumed. The world has witnessed a paradigm shift in the balance of power as a result of China's successful display of a capacity that the United States lacks. So let's get into the details. In the 1960s, Soviet scientists and engineers created FOBs. Launching a nuclear weapon into lower, low Earth orbit allows it to float above the Earth before deorbiting over the target. The U.S.'s sophisticated missile warning network, all of whose observation stations were directed north, inspired the Soviets since the shortest path of a missile launch from any place in the Soviet Union during the Cold War would have likely been in the Northern Hemisphere. The Fractional Orbital Bombardment System, FOBS or FOBS, could potentially enable the launch of a missile into a pole-to-pole -pole orbit around the Earth, allowing it to travel over the southern region of the mainland United States and cause significant damage. Fortunately, the development of this weapon by the Soviets was prevented due to the United States' enhancement of its early warning systems, which incorporated space-based surveillance to detect missile heat signatures. It is acknowledged that numerous nations, such as the United States and Russia, are currently endeavoring to construct a comparable system. On October 17th, the Financial Times released a report that caused a stir within the intelligence community. The report suggests that China developed and conducted a test of a FOBS in August of this year. As per the report, China's defense sector conducted a missile test that achieved a velocity of 33,800 kilometers an hour, exceeding the speed of sound in the air by over 27 times. The missile completed one orbit around the planet before ultimately descending and narrowly missing its intended target in China by approximately 40 kilometers. The high velocity at which the vehicle traveled qualifies it as a hypersonic fractional orbital bombardment system, thereby rendering it more challenging to monitor and or obstruct. According to Taylor Fravel, an expert on China's nuclear weapons and a professor at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, hypersonic glide vehicles have the capability to operate at lower trajectories and exhibit in-flight maneuverability, rendering them challenging to detect and eliminate. Notwithstanding, specialists in missile technology have argued that in the present era of heightened satellite deployment and ground-based as well as atmospheric sensors, the utility of FOBs may not exceed that of the customary intercontinental ballistic missiles or ICBMs. ICBMs possess the capability to be launched from a particular continent and effectively hit a target located on a distant continent, similar to FOBs. However, unlike FOBs, ICBMs do not enter into orbit as such. ICBMs typically follow a parabolic trajectory whereby they ascend to altitudes of up to 1,200 kilometers prior to descending towards their intended target. The test is interpreted as a declaration that the United States should not presume that its ballistic missile defense system will shield it from counterattacks in the event of an offensive against China. In the aforementioned article, Langbroek asserted that the Chinese FOBs holds a superior position compared to the BMD which may enter unless the United States opts to acknowledge China's stance on BMD, a course of action that has been neglected thus far. As per his analysis, it may be advisable for the United States to expand the coverage of its ballistic missile defense system and deploy anti-satellite missiles as a strategic response to the potential threat posed by FOBs. Nevertheless, with respect to the United States exclusively, it may not employ the Outer Space Treaty as a justification to oppose China's proposals. At the beginning of 2018, President Vladimir Putin of Russia disclosed information regarding weapon systems that Russia had expressed interest in, potentially with the intention of inciting a reaction from the United States. The RS-28 Sarmat, a super-heavy intercontinental ballistic missile, has been identified as one of the weapons with the purported capability of delivering multiple warheads to multiple targets. Consider a hypothetical scenario in which an ICBM has attained its maximum altitude and is presently descending toward its intended destination. Rather than targeting a singular point, the missile is equipped with multiple warheads that disperse and strike several targets simultaneously. The aforementioned armaments are categorized as multiple, independently targetable reentry vehicles, commonly referred to as MIRVs. 